The situation surrounding the raid on Sean Diddy Combs' home is indeed complex and has garnered significant attention. Here's a summary of the key points. Combs' sons, Christian and Justin, hired attorney Jeffrey Lichtman to investigate the Homeland Security raid on their father's home. Lichtman is known for representing high-profile clients, including drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman and mobster John Gotti Jr. Video footage shared by the boy's mother, Misa Hilton, showed the aggressive tactics used by federal agents during the raid, including pointing guns at the sons and handcuffing them. Hilton criticized the raid as racist and militarized. Hilton emphasized that the level of force used was excessive, particularly given that her sons were unarmed and posed no threat. She called for justice and criticized the handling of the situation. Lichtman echoed these sentiments, stating that the government's actions were over the top and suggesting that they were unfair towards Combs and his family. Combs himself was reportedly attempting to board a private jet to the Bahamas when the raids occurred. One of his associates, Brendan Paul, was intercepted by police and referred to as Combs drug mule in a lawsuit filed against the rapper by music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Jones' lawsuit alleged serious illegal activity by Combs, including sexual assault. This lawsuit followed a separate case by Combs' ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who accused him of beating, raping, and drugging her. Ventura settled out of court for $30 million. Combs has denied all allegations against him and stated that he is the victim of a witch hunt. His attorney, Aaron Dyer, criticized the excessive use of force during the raid and emphasized that Combs' children and employees were mistreated. The exact reasons for the raids on Combs' properties have not been disclosed publicly, but they occurred shortly after the filing of lawsuits against him alleging illegal activities. Overall, the situation surrounding the raids on Combs' home remains murky, with ongoing investigations and legal proceedings likely to shed more light on the matter in the future.